an ongoing effort to try to go for yet another meeting or round to, to uh, explore uh, possibilities to, to come to, to an agreement. Uh, the IEA uh, is there to support. As you know, we are not sitting at the negotiating table, but we are uh, like, uh, you know, hovering over it all the time because we are the technical uh, guarantors of the agreement. For more on this, we're now joined by Negar Mortazavi from Washington. She is a columnist for The Independent. Uh, good to see you. Uh, listening to Rafael Grossi, he sounded awfully diplomatic. I mean, where do you think the two sides stand in terms of their flexibility towards rehabilitating this deal? Well, I think the two sides, there is obviously still a gap to be bridged, and I believe that there needs to be compromise from both sides for, um, in order for that gap to, to be bridged. I think a deal is possible. I'm hearing more positive um, signs and discourse from Tehran this time around. It seems like the Biden administration, they have been interested in a deal, but uh, they may be prepared to make a little more compromise. And it seems like what the European Union has proposed is, is a creative um, a new proposal to sort of bring the two sides together to meet somewhere ha midpoint. As far as the political will um, to potentially also deal with the backlash, because there will be backlash, especially here in Washington, the Biden administration will get backlash from Republicans in Congress and from certain Democrats. Um, and there needs to be some political capital spent on that. So it's more of a political decision, but I think both sides are still interested in making an agreement and essentially reviving the JCPOA. Nigga, here's what I'm interested in. I mean, do you think that the, the, uh, the President Biden perhaps uh, wasted an opportunity with uh, the JCPOA revival when, when a moderate Iranian President Hassan Rouhani was, was still in office? 100 percent. I had been saying this before even the president entered the office and as he entered, that there is a small and golden window of opportunity um, with the moderate administration in Tehran when President Biden comes into office, because we knew the date of the presidential election in Tehran would be June 2000. Uh, 21. So after the change of, I'm sorry, 2022, after 21, after the change of administration in Tehran, things have just become more complicated and difficult. So yes, indeed, there was a um, golden, indeed, window of opportunity at the beginning of his administration that they missed, but not all is lost. Again, I'm still optimistic that a deal can be possible, but with more compromise. Let me ask you a question on, on the Iranian side. I mean, do you think the, the Ibrahim Raisi administration has the um, the, the diplomatic touch or, or, or the mastery in foreign relations to actually pull this off? Or is it, is it very binary for them? Because when you look at uh, the former foreign minister, Mr. Javad Zarif, he not only sold it to uh, the, uh, the, the Western countries, he sold it to the conservative base in his country and effectively sold it to the world. Well, the mastery is obviously not matching the previous administration, but there's two positive points here. One is that this administration represents the very conservatives or hardliners that, as you said, Javed Zarif had to sell the previous deal, the deal to previously. So they essentially represent them, and you would assume it would be at least smoother when they are the ones who are in charge. And the other point is that the deal already exists, and that's what makes it easier. If it was starting from scratch, as it happened under President Obama, I would say almost impossible. But the deal is on the paper, and what both sides need to do is to essentially make the political decision to just come back to full compliance of the deal. So again, I'm optimistic that there is a possibility, but we have to see compromise from both sides here in Washington and also in Tehran. It's a good point you make. Uh, Nigar Mortazavi, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. I do appreciate it. Thank